Saturday in the YouTube world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the 401, 10 a.m. Headed up to Huntsville. Well, I guess Bracebridge for the video. We're gonna go to see the King Boss Quad Compound. So I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen the uh, uh, stories on Instagram. So we're gonna swing in there, check it out, see what's going on. So the main reason we're going is for a Prager Kegger. Basically, a baby shower party. Kegger. So, see it's the for the, mainly for the mom. Yeah. That's she's gonna she's be doing keg stands. Yeah, yeah. pregnant keg stands. So. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's 12 degrees, it's chilly. You can probably see through Love my it. shirt. It's and nice. uh, it's raining, so hopefully when we get there it's, it's not raining. It's beautiful. I love and, it. Uh, Fall time. Uh, we'll see you shortly. Look at this. Looks like an industrial area. I think we gotta go the other way around to get to the trailer. <laughs> I don't think we drive up there. Look at the setup. And of course it's raining. It's always raining in Muskoka apparently. Sick park job. This is definitely way bigger than it looks on all those freaking Snapchats. Holy. Well, I'm gonna go back inside. Luckily I got next Dirty wet uh, fin trails though. <laughs> Made his own sign. Nice. Yeah, this place is huge and it's on a big hill in a swamp. <laughs> you said pushing trees down with a dozer, they just literally flicked it and you fall over. All right, we're in the place where it never stops raining apparently. We got Mr. Nick, King Boss Quad. We, ac on, we actually got here yesterday, but we decided to party instead. So. Yeah, this is it. It definitely looks a lot different than on all the uh, the stories, the Instagram stories. So it is a lot bigger in person. And the hill is actually a lot steeper in person. Oh yeah, I drove down it. I thought I was rolling right off into the swamp over there. So I call myself Shrek. My this is how it actually, I don't know, it's, it's too hard. But anyways, <laughs> so what made you decide to pick here? Great question, actually. Um, <laughs> Lots of secrets to it. First of all, I'm right off the main highway, which means the roads are going to be clear right away. Um, big thing for up here. But uh, what a lot of people don't realize is I have my own private skag, literally 100 yards that way. Um, <laughs> Most people don't buy for skag. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. I had done. You bought in a swamp, literally. Yeah, literally Look at this. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so that's it. I just wanted my own privacy. Um, there's nothing worse than riding somebody else's property and getting kicked off, so I figured I'd own it ride it and nobody can tell me what to do with it so uh that's it i'm gonna be hosting a ton of rides here uh there's gonna be a massive facility um come on this way i'll kind of walk you through everything that we had been done through here how many acres is this uh this is 55 and back there is crown land which has zero access to it but me because i made my own path my own excavator <laughs> uh, that wasn't a flex by the way <laughs> you don't want to buy your own excavator. Yeah, a lot of maintenance so we started off january uh june 28th just right up there on the top of the road and just imagine it was just trees with a giant uh cliff and just we just dumped dump trucks right off the back of the road pushed them in with my skid steer until we got kind of far enough in where we could kind of look at the land and figure out a flat spot and this is what we ended up with here this is a 9600 square foot building uh it's a kodiak building it's going to be uh 120 by 80 for people that are uh, wondering what the dimensions are it's also 30 feet tall so wow drive through garage on this side you're going to come down the hill and drive right through again we're going to build this all up with more aggregate Two garage doors here this is the pressure washing bay and then that's the living quarters over there living quarters going to be just over 7,000 square feet so i didn't really compromise on living space at all and the garage is basically these three pillars to here so i put the maverick in there for size reference yeah that is uh without the maverick it doesn't look you know overly crazy but now <laughs> it looks like a little tiny <laughs> car in there and so oh. we, we battled rain all summer um a lot of perseverance uh there's over 450 loads of aggregate in here so Jeez. um actually right where you're standing is about 22 feet of aggregate like deep 
deep. Oh yeah. my God. You gotta go down to bedrock or sand, right? Yeah. Uh, and you can't build on this goose poop over here. So this behind you is actually what the terrain looked like when we kind of got in here. Mm. And so lots of digging, lots of moving of earth. And the plan or goal with this is uh, I'm gonna dig out my own pond here, which is gonna lead to the skag. So this will be all very nicely landscaped and whatnot. Nice grass, uh, nice dock into the pond, maybe a sea or sherp in there, who knows. <laughs> Just get this built first and then worry about all that crap. <laughs> So uh, the building arrives November 19th, and this will go together very, very quickly as a steel fabrication. Um, then we're going to frame the inside, uh, and, and then from there, it's just the finishing touches. So all in all, it's going to be 10 months from beginning to end. Uh, a lot of people said it couldn't be done in COVID. It'll be done. <laughs> Come hell or high water, it'll uh, be done. You uh, thought you'd be moved in by now. Listen. <laughs> I didn't want to say no. Like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, sure. Everyone, yeah, I just say, build one house in your life, but only do it once because you'll never survive a second one. <laughs> you said it was going to be easy. Contract Nothing yourself. Be easy. <laughs> easy. Every yeah. story I've watched, it's like a yelling match. Everyone says double your budget. No, 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 triple your budget if you're going to be up here in Muskoka. Oh, 100%. Um, the good news is, is everybody's super friendly up here. Everyone's super helpful. Um, all the locals are extremely knowledgeable how to build up here, which is very different than building in the city, if I'm quite honest. Uh, you know, building on bedrock or sand is <laughs> trying. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been fun. Um, probably the funnest summer of my life after uh, the year that I've been through, kind of needed it. Um, you guys are wondering, I've got an RV on site. Uh, I lived in there for the last four months. How was that? Um, with two dogs. It was fun. It was tough. F U N. Fun. <laughs> Uh, but it's got in, a coffee maker and that's all I really care about. Yeah, so, you're in town now because it is quite cold. It's Yeah, there's a couple minus two mornings up here. And although the RV is a four season RV, uh, it's just not uh, it's not comparable to run the generator 24 seven. Even though we do have hydro coming in the next few weeks. Uh, <clears throat> I figured, get yourself a house, Nick. So I got myself a house and I'm um, just kind of ushering this through completion. Um, luckily, I don't have to be on site day by day at this moment in time. It's mostly backfilling as we go here. And then uh, there's a whole bunch of insulation that's going in for the for heat over there. The whole um, thing's gonna be in floor. In floor, yeah. So we got we were gonna go two zones originally, but now we're doing multiple zones, adding a lot of complexity to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I spoke to Dave about his in floor. He wouldn't have it any other way. So I figured if he's smart enough to do it, I should be smart enough to do it as well. <laughs> yeah, you probably took a lot of tips from him, eh? Yeah. Well, I just watch <laughs> every one of his videos oh, in yeah. super detail and and learn from his mistakes, fortunately, and ask a lot of questions. Um, so it, it's been it's been a fun it's been a fun thing, um, you know. If I give anybody advice about building your own home, uh, it's quite simply this: get involved in details, because <laughs> a lot of people out there uh, try and pull fast ones on you. Not that I've luckily had that. Everyone's very honest up here, but um, you can see how things can get done sideways very quickly if you're not involved. And have triple the budget. Well, I mean. That saying. So just for some perspective, like I said, we're about 22 feet of fill on this corner and that corner over there. Um, every load, depending on where you're geographically located, is between four and six hundred dollars. I'm going to give you a pretty good variance. Doing some quick math here on the 450 loads I told you. <laughs> Get your Kept calculator out. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and everything's <laughs> everything's more expensive in Muskoka. Yeah. If you're not from around here, Muskoka is kind of the uh, cottage country of Ontario. It's like North Toronto, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone from the city comes here, and well, I was—I've been coming here since I was five, and it was expensive then. It is. <laughs> that was 25 years ago, yeah. and uh, with what's going on now, everything—the price has doubled again. So. Yeah. So it's been a quiet kind of summer for King Boss Quad. I, I apologize to you guys. I want to see a lot of content, but I. Yeah. Do you even remember how to ride or? You know what? I, every once in a while, I wake up with these nightmares that I'm riding something. <laughs> need to get out there. Uh, just a little level set on where we're at. I'm building one of the biggest uh, Maverick X3s on the planet. That's still happening. Um, a little bit behind the scenes. Obviously, managing this takes a lot of my time, but uh, that is happening. That X3 right there is already sold. Um, that's going. Decide to lift the games for me. I don't like uh, low and slow. Um, I've Whoa. still got my other X3, I've got my Defender 6x6 and Debbie, and I actually just bought a new Renegade, which is coming in the next few weeks. Wow. Yeah, you, there's some toys back there. Indeed. Sweet. Well, should we do a uh, cold start on the Jeep? <laughs> Blow everyone's eardrums out in the morning. That's how we'll end the video. I, to I, st <laughs> I still can't believe how big this is. Yeah, like, people don't. You don't realize it until you see it. Yeah, you like see it the the if you block that out, it doesn't look that big, and then you put that in there, and it's like, wow. 
Sweet, well, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little tour here. It was the first time I've been here, so I definitely wanted to see it for myself. It is, uh, yeah, I don't know how you did it. And you said the trees were so easy to push over because it's all marsh. The root system up here, everything's sitting on, I mean, either bedrock or sand. So, like, a 200 foot tall tree, you just bump with the excavator and it just falls right over. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Why they, that's why the trees always fall on people's stuff up here. Oh, because yeah. there's, wind they're just, jump. all right, let's do a cold start on this beast. Oh, this thing is... for that at all my eardrums are gone well anyways thank you for that hope uh hope you guys enjoyed the video just wanted to do a quick update nothing too crazy we're jumping anything today but uh definitely i will be up here more and i can't wait to see the skeg <laughs> november 6th guys we have a big ride coming up here all the welcome uh and you get to see my private little skeg for the back there it's gonna be super cool perfect so follow king boss quad on instagram and uh We'll keep you updated with events and public events. See how many axles you can destroy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later. See you, bro.